Hello, everyone. Welcome to the lecture. Today, we will learn about the CPG problem in soil mechanics. The basic concept of flood flow through soil is introduced, followed by the Bernoulli equation. After that, the Darcy law and the method to obtain the coefficient probability will be studied. Soil have interconnected voids through which water can flow through from points of high energy to points of low energy. The study of the flow of water through poor soil is important in soil mechanics. It is necessary for estimating the quantity of underground seepage and the various hydraulic conditions. For investigating problems involving the pumping of water for underground construction and for making survey analysis of earth stems and earth retaining structures that are subject to seepage forces. Here is one example to show the failure of a Titan dam due to seepage. According to the Bonnell equation, the total head at a point in water and the motion can be given by the sum of pressure head, velocity head, and elevation head. The elevation head, Z, is the vertical distance of the given point above or below a datum. The pressure head is the water pressure, U, at that point divided by unit weight of water, gamma water. If Bonnell equation is applied to the flow of water through the pore soil medium, the term containing the velocity head can be neglected because the safety velocity is small. Then the total head at any point can be adequately represented by H equals Z plus U over gamma water. The figure opposite shows the relationship among the pressure head, elevation head, and the total head for the flow of water through soil. Open stop pipes are called parameters are installed at point A and B. The pressure head at that point, the height of the vertical column of the water in the parameter installed at that point. The loss of a head between two points A and B can be given by equation 1. A hydraulic gradient I is defined at the rate of total head loss between two points in the soil at its price in equation 2. Thus, it proposes that average flow velocity through soil is proportional to the gradient of total head. Equation 1 is called Darcy's equation, where V is the average flow of discharge velocity, K is the coefficient of probability with units of centimeter per second, dH is the change of total head over a distance x, then the volume rate of flow of flow rate Q becomes VA or KIA, where A is the cross section area perpendicular to the flow. Note that the dust law is valid for laminar flow. In fractured rock, stone, gravel, a very constant turbulent flow condition may exist, and the equation 1 may not be valid. Meanwhile, it should be noted that flows through soil occur only through the interconnected voids. The blood through the void space is called seepage velocity. The discharge velocity of water is based on the gross cross-section area of soil, which is not the actual seepage velocity. The actual seepage velocity is the actual velocity of the water flowing in the voids, which is greater than the discharge velocity. The area of soil specimen A includes the area of void in the cross-section AV and the area of soil solid in the cross-section AS. Based on the mass conservation, the CPG velocity Vs equal to the digital velocity V divided by the porosity of soil. In that equation, the coefficient of probability is the proper of the soil, which is a measure of how easily can water pass through the soil. It depends on several factors, such as viscosity, pore size distribution, grain size distribution, wall ratio roughness of mineral particles, and the degree of saturation. The value of coefficient of probability, k, varies widely for different soils. Some typical values for saturated soil are given in the table. The coefficient of probability of unsaturated soil is lower and increases rapidly with the degree of saturation. There are three commonly used approaches to obtain the coefficient of probability. The constant head test, and the falling head test in the lab, and the well pumping test in the field. Alternatively, you can also estimate the coefficient of probability from empirical equations. 
When you conduct permitting the lab, there are several assumptions. Lamina flow, continuity of flow without change of soil volume during the test. Flows through soil is in the steady state without change in hydraulic gradient. The soil is saturated with the air or bubble in the void. The constant head is used primarily for the coarse green soil. A typical arrangement of the constant head permeability test is shown in the figure opposite. In this test, the water supply at the inlet is adjusted in such a way that the difference of head between the inlet and outlet remains constant during the test period. After a constant flow rate is established, water is collected in a gradual flux for a known duration. A total volume of water, Q, collected can be expressed as Q equals A V T or A P I T, where a is area cross section of the soil specimen, and T is duration of water collection. Recall that the hydraulic gradient I is defined as a rate of total head loss between two points in soil. I equals delta H over L. Then the flow rate is expressed as equation 1. Therefore, the coefficient of probability can be obtained as equation 2. For fine grain soils, however, the flow rates through the soil are too small and therefore falling head tests are preferred. A typical arrangement of the falling head probability test is shown in the figure opposite. Water from the standpipe flows through the soil. The initial head difference H1 at time T0 is recorded, and the water is allowed to flow through the soil specimen such that the final head difference at time T2 H H2. Inflow of the soil specimen during dt equals minus a times dh, and the outflow of the soil sample during dt is k times hydraulic gradient l over l times a and dt. Note that the water flow in equal to the water flow out. If we conduct integration from time t1 to t2, the coefficient of probability can be derived as equation 1 or 2. The laboratory tests are not generally very reliable because of soil disturbance, such effects, stress relief, air bubbles, and temperature variations. However, they may be useful for filters and compact soils. In the field, the average coefficient probability of a soil deposit in the direction of flow can be determined by performing pumping tests from wells. During the test, water is pumped out at a constant rate from the test well and have um, perforated casing. Several observation wells at various radio distance are made around the test well. Continuous observations of the water level in test well and in the observation well are made after the start of the pumping until the steady state is raised. The rate of flow of groundwater into the well Q equals the rate of discharge from pumping, which can be written as equation one. Through the integration from R1 to R2 on both sides at equation 2, the coefficient of probability can be obtained, which is expressed at equation 3. Alternatively, the coefficient of probability can be estimated from empirical equations. For example, Hyven proposed an equation to relate the coefficient of probability to D10 at equation 1. A more complicated equation is suggested by Taylor, in which the coefficient probability is a function of D50 and the wall ratio as shown in equation 2. In this lecture, we have learned the dust law and the method to obtain the coefficient probability. That's all for today's lecture. Thanks for your listening.